in response to my opponent's uh, negative workability claim, saying that animal testing is more efficient than the new forms of alternative tests because the animals that are being used are genetically close to humans and they yield better assumptions to how the human body will react is factually incorrect. Again, in the, uh, in the UK, human volunteers testing uh, monoco antibody treatment at uh, Northwick <coughs> Park Hospital in the UK in 2006 suffered an allergic reaction that uh, nearly killed all of them. Uh, and the testing on monkeys at 500 times the dose that were given to the volunteers totally failed to predict the dangerous side effects. Um, in addition, according to cell biologist Robin Badge of the MRC National Institute for Medical Research in London, they also constantly state that between 90 to 94 percent of all drugs that passed in animal trials fail in people. Now, in response to my opponent's disadvantage claim, saying that there isn't a system in place that replicates the interaction of cells is far from the truth because there are laboratories in Europe that have had success with in vitro testing on the long of uh, long-term use of beauty products on human skin. To make the conclusion that banning animal testing will decrease the accuracy of the effects of uh, the products, disregards the new alternative forms of testing that are more accurate than the traditional ones. In the form of in vitro testing, they were able to identify 100% of the uh, chemical ir irritants in a solution compared to animal testing that only was able to identify 60% of them. Furthermore, um, just this month, the Lees Institute worked in collaboration with Harvard College to create human organs on chips, which are, uh, which are essentially living three-dimensional cross-sections of major funct functional units of whole living organs. Because they are translucent, they provide a window, a window into the inner workings of human cells and living tissues within an organ-relevant context.